Okay. It is, let's see, 12.05 a.m. on Wednesday, October 17th, 2018. I am broadcasting, or recording from St. Augustine, Florida. There is a planned launch at Cape Canaveral Kennedy Space Center of a Air Force communication satellite. And before it's supposed to occur at 12.15 a.m., there are no storms. I just figured you know, give you a good sense of what I see around here. As a ship out in the distance, probably here to uh, look for, monitor the launch. So it's now a waiting game. Got nine minutes. I I'd watch this on. YouTube, but I guess they're not broadcasting it. I guess they don't do uh, Air Force launches live. And it is breezy. Like I said, I am brought, I'm recording from St. Augustine, Florida. Excuse me, St. Augustine, Florida. Pointing south. Uh, See, the little blip of light that you see is a boat out on the water in the distance. Actually, there's two others smaller. I don't think you may be able to see that because of the uh, camera lens. But it is a clear night. The moon is out. I'm just going to sit here and wait. So, I have my night vision so I can see the water from here. Actually, I can only see the waves. The water's all black. But I can see uh, Let's see if I can okay there's there's a ship out there in the center of the screen and I'm gonna point up and just let it sit there because I really doubt that I can do anything but uh, Orion is starting let's see starting to rise. I can see the Pleiades cluster, the Subaru. I know I probably can't see it, but there's, but Taurus the Bull is right in between, so I can see the Pleiades cluster a lot better. I wish I brought my uh, binoculars. But I'll make do with what I got now. six minutes I have no idea if they're going to do a launch I can unless for some reason because of high winds I but it is absolutely amazing ah there's the Orion Nebula can't see it direct on, but I can see it in my peripheral when I look away. Oh, probably going to be a lot of silence and just let it sit here. I have it on the wide angle lens, so I should be able, yes I can, I can zoom out, zoom in, what if I turn that on, <laughs> that's cool, and hello, 
Damn, that's bright. Turn that off. Turn off the bright. Okay. And just to the right is our condos. Right. Yeah, that's not very far. Uh, to the left, it's blinking. That is a ship in the water. I'm wondering if it's a spotter for this upcoming. In case if it... Uh, for a contingency, in case if something bad happens. Eh, about four minutes, three minutes left. I am a hundred miles away from Cape Kennedy, so... And from what I've seen, read on internet, uh, people in Jacksonville, which is north of me, can now already can see launches. So, really should be that bright. And there's a plane coming, I guess, my way. Assuming that I'm pointing in the right direction. be able to zoom in. Expecting my dad to come in a few minutes. I'm out on the walkway to the beach. There's nobody here. Which means I make it I go I go sand crabbing. For me it's kinda of weird, you know, being out here. And this is October. You know, in Cincinnati, it's like... When we left, it was like... 35 degrees. And it was like 85 today, here in St. Augustine. Eight minutes recorded. And we got about less than two minutes, maybe. Between some sea oats, so that shouldn't be a problem. So you're seeing the blinking on the right, that's just a sea oat wait, waving in the wind. It's like three or four feet away from me. or so. I see something, but can't make out what it is. Something's... It, either I'm just looking at it and my... Twelve fifteen. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's... I don't know if you can see it. I see a glow. Yes, there it is. There is a glow right there. And yes, we have a liftoff. Wow, that is amazing. That there is a rocket launch. 
Wow, it was up. So that's Cape Kennedy right there. Holy crap, that's bright. That's why I said about the... Oh, I can't wait for the sound to come here. Yeah, the, unfortunately the phone does nothing. But this is amazing. Bright orange. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, that's better. Wow. Hell yeah. How close can I get in? Nice. That is an Air Force communication satellite being launched. Luckily, yeah, now it's now it looks like a star, but oh, here comes the sound. Zoom out a little. Wow. I hear something. I definitely hear the launch. It's a faint rumble. Pull back a little more. Man. That was awesome. Let's see if I can zoom in again. Wow, I am looking at what it, you probably can't see it, but the, the rocket trail is, it, it makes it look like an arc. And it's amazing I can still see this on my phone. There it is. Here comes the sound. Oops. Better pull back. It looks like, you know, a, a moving plane, but a crescent moon because of the exhaust of the oh, and it went out damn and what you see on the left hand side is a uh, yep I have lost it in the distance I guess the I had to use my peripheral vision just to be able to detect any movement. I think I see something, but... I can't make it out. And I can faintly hear the roar of the engines. Because it does sound like a uh, jetliner going by. But understand this is coming from 100 miles away. So, yeah, 
yeah, I kind of say I want to, I kind of see it. But I have to look at my peripheral. God, I wish they would do it again. So, yeah, 15 minutes recording. Not bad. And it's confirmed. I can see where that bright light is. Uh, there's two of them in the distance there. Let's see if I can zoom in anymore. Yeah, there they are. Uh, that's, if I can, you can see them twinkling. Uh, that is the direction of Cape Kennedy and Cape Canaveral. So that's where the launch came off. So yeah, that's, that's amazing. They're supposed to do another, uh, that was a Delta V rocket too. So, it's nothing like watching the shuttle going off at, from six miles away and that was loud. That was also in the daytime. So, so that was the launch of a Delta V rocket carrying a satellite for the communication satellite for the Air Force so it is gone into the uh, constellation of Orion and let's see if I can let's see if I can see okay there's boat. I just want to see if I can point to Beetlejuice. Zoom in real tight. Okay, there's the boat. And I'm still hearing the engine. Ooh, got a twinkle right there. Okay. There's a twinkling right there, so I'm looking at what is Orion, so you probably can barely make it out. So yeah, here it's getting louder. This is awesome. You probably can't hear it over the wind. But it's amazing from a, you know, from a hundred miles away, I can see a launch perfectly. And it's like way down there. That's where Cape Canaveral is, I think. So. Sounds like it's... Oh! Oh, hell yeah! Shooting star! Awesome! Missed it, but I saw it. And there's something r blinking. I don't know if you can see it. I, I think it's a plane. But, yeah. Yep, just saw a shooting star or a meteoroid. That was awesome. It was it was heading towards the ocean anyway. And it was not the rocket because it's coming in way too fast. So, uh, I see Draco the Dragon. Oops. Yep. Pardon me. It's amazing. The moon has dropped a whole lot. Yeah, there it is. So, so I can still hear the rocket roar. 
since sound takes longer than it's way slower than light so so that's about it so I'm gonna post this to YouTube and everything so until then this is Brian reporting from St. Augustine Florida October 17th 2018 and just watched a Delta 5 launch from Cape Kennedy 100 miles away see you and have fun